In this video, I'm going to show you how to sign out rooms in the high school using Outlook. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to open up Outlook on your PC. And then in the lower left hand corner, you're going to click on Calendar. So the first thing you want to do once you get into your calendar, scroll down to see the rooms. These are calendars that were shared with your account. Um, and let's say I'm going to try and sign out the high school auditorium, so I click on that and it'll show you over here on the right side uh, that calendar as well. So now I can see where the auditorium has been blocked out um, and when it's available. So once I have sort of cleared on the calendar that everything's good to go, I'm going to go up here to the top left corner, click on New Meeting, hit New Meeting again, and then I'm going to start filling out information. This looks very much like an email and it functions very much like an email. Um, the weird part of it is though, you're actually going to send the email to the room that you want to sign out. So to find that list of high school rooms, if you just start typing in the word hi, high school rooms will show up at the top of the list. So I want to scroll down here till I get to high school auditorium. I can double click on it, that adds it to the required, and then I hit OK. Subject wise, I need to put in my name so that it'll mark that on the calendar. Underneath here then, I need to put in my start time, what date it is. Um, so I'm going to set this up for Wednesday morning uh, and I'm going to change this to my planning period so it'll start at 9. I'm going to reserve it for a half an hour but I can always change that time as well. If I need this to recur once a week, so let's say I need to have it like every two Wednesdays from now until the end of the school year, I can actually come up here to the top of my window and click on recurrence. This allows me to set the, the start and end time. Um, I can also just set the start time and change the duration. If I want it to be weekly, um, every two weeks, I can change that to every two weeks. Um, and I don't know why it's not letting me change it to two weeks, but um, I could change that to two weeks. I can also make it meet on non-consecutive days, or I could sign it out every day of the week um, using this. I can give it no end date, so it'll go from now until forever. I can end it after 10 times, uh, or I can end it by a certain date. Uh, I don't want to set that up um, right now, so I just want it for this one half hour day. So once I have all of that done, um, I can leave a message here if uh, somebody needs to know if I'm adding uh, invitees. Uh, and if I'm not, I just hit send. And I just have to wait for a couple seconds. What the system's doing is it's checking to see if the room's available. If the room's available, you'll get an email that says your appointment was um, scheduled. Uh, so it's saying that it's accepted. And if I go onto the calendar here and hover at 9 a.m., on the 12th, there I am, I have the room signed out. Unfortunately, with the way things are set up now, um, I should be able to right click on this and cancel the meeting, but that function is not actually set up right now. So if you would need to cancel uh, that time in that room, you'll need to email uh, Laura Witter. So that's setting up a room uh, or signing out a room for the high school using Outlook.